Today, we're going to be adding transfers to our test models in the simplest way possible. Let's play the intro. Hello, my name is SBJ. Welcome to Emperor's Path. And today, we're going to be adding transfers to our test model. Transfers can often be a daunting process for people, so I'm going to show you the method that I use on my own models. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Whilst what I do is for fun, it is nice to see some growth in what I'm doing. Now, the tools that we're going to be using today are as follows. A sharp hobby knife, a Tupperware or plastic lid, a single sheet of kitchen roll is all you need, but you can have more if you wish, a clean paintbrush, a pot of water, small nose tweezers, micro set and micro sole, the transfers of your choice. Also make sure that you have some gloss varnish. Me personally, I like to use Halford's clear lacquer. <laughs> By the end of this video, we're gonna have transfers that look like this. And after that, we will be on the final stage of this project, weathering, my favorite part. Now that we have our tools and all the gear that we need, let's get started. We're going to the hobby desk. Okay, so here are all our color swatches, our color palettes for all our different models. Uh, what I've already done with these off camera is I've hit them with a Halford's clear lacquer. Now for me, especially on these tanks where there's not a lot of super detail or anything on them, this is fine. I've used it on various models of varying degrees of uh, detail and I've had no problems with them and I'd highly recommend it if you are looking to do your varnishing on a bulk level. Now, if you wanted to paint it on, there is this Citadel Art Coat one that is available and through an airbrush, I can recommend this gloss varnish. Now, Personally, where I'm doing things like this or the sides of coaches where there's not a lot of detail, I prefer the Halford's clear lacquer. It seems to just do a much better job across a vast amount of things. So if I was doing, well, like I did, doing 15, 16 coaches in one go, it certainly helped to speed up the process. Uh, if you were doing a locomotive or a uh, bunch of tactical marines, you could use the clear lacquer, however I'd probably more, air more on the side of using this instead. So what we're going to do now is we are going to have a look at our transfers, we're going to have a look what we're going to be putting on each thing, and I'll come back. Okay, so we've got all our transfers cut out now. Uh, obviously the backing is, is on them, so they all might look a little bit weird. There may be some people out there screaming because I've not picked the right things for particular legions, but A, I don't have all of the transfers for these legions, and B, I can do what I want. Yeah, there's, there's some weird ones in here. This one will probably be the most ambitious, and I'm gonna hopefully show you the magic of Microset and Microsol. It might go terribly wrong, we will see. But basically, uh, I haven't done the doors for these, um, mainly because I've lost them and I can't find them. So what I'm going to do is, Iron Warriors use a lot of chevrons, but I don't have the door for it. So what I'm going to try and do is, over this bottom bit, I'm going to try and apply the transfer. Now if you look, you can see that it is uh, <laughs> quite bumpy. So we're going to see if we can get Microset and Microsol to do its magic and why it's so good for doing transfers. For the next step, we've got our plastic lid. This is the lid from my cotton buds. Uh, and we've got a kitchen roll, kitchen towel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go and wet this. Well, first of all, I'm going to fold it over. So basically, I want it to be almost the same size as this. It doesn't need to be like you do you um but this needs to be wet and this is what we're going to put our transfers on to get them to release from the backing paper so i'm going to quickly go wet this and then we're going to put that in there so the transfers can go on there back in a sec okay so our kitchen roll is wet so what we're going to do now is we're just going to put our transfers onto here you might see them curl up uh, all that is is where the water is suddenly jumping into the uh, transfers and that will start releasing them. Now that all our transfers are on there, what we're going to do is we're going to leave them for a few minutes to hopefully start removing from that backing paper. As you can see, that was the first one I put on there 
and it's already away from the backing paper, which is perfect. So we'll leave those for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, whilst that's going on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start applying Micro Set. Now this is basically the softener for the transfers. And what you wanna do is you ideally wanna apply it to where you're putting the transfers. And then once the transfers are on top, very carefully put a little bit more. I'm gonna go away, do the Micro Set on all these parts, and then let's have a look at applying transfers. So like when we were doing airbrushing, I'm not going to show you every single one that I'm doing, but I will show you the finished products. But the four that I do want to go over are the train wagon, the two that we were doing as our original color palette so that you can see that the whole process through. And also I'm going to do it on this Iron Warriors one simply because I need to show if I muck up because then I can show that I don't know everything. Um, and we're going to work on this area as well. So. Let's get our micro set. I'm using a Citadel medium shade brush, but you can use whichever brush you want. I use this because I use it for my washes when I'm painting Warhammer, but it's also just nice to use for micro set and micro sole. It's a soft brush, but it's not one of my dirty old brushes that I've got. So you just get your micro set on there. Uh, let's start with this one. So on this one, I know that I'm painting that area. This smells like some sort of vinegar, by the way. All painting stuff seems to just have weird smells to it and sometimes they're just not nice. Now you don't have to be delicate with this. All you're doing is you're basically getting the area ready so that when you put the transfer on, it starts softening it from the bottom as well as softening it from the top when you're gonna apply that new layer. So with my tweezers and my brush, I'm going to move the micro set out of the way because otherwise I am going to spill it. And we can see, let's move all the other bits out of the way for now. So we're gonna do this one in real time. So, yep, there we go. With my brush, I can move it. So I'm gonna use my tweezers. You don't have to use tweezers like this. I just like these tweezers at the moment. They're very nice for me. So, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the brush to apply the pressure on the backing paper. Oh, this is a very semi-transparent transfer. These are old Citadel transfers, but we'll see, Let's see how that looks. So now that that's on there, there, I'm gonna get some micro set on there as well. As I, I don't need to soften these ones that much. It's only the Iron Warriors one that's really gonna need the softening. But what this does is it makes it so that it almost starts to wear away at the edges of the transfer so you kind of don't see them. What's interesting about this as well is I sprayed all of these at the same time, same coverage, but clearly I didn't do the same coverage that I thought. This area here hasn't been varnished as well as some of the others. Uh, the others are very shiny in certain areas. To touch it is, but to looks it isn't. So I'm intrigued to see, compare this one later down the line with the others and see how it goes. Now, I didn't explain this, but with the gloss the gloss varnish, the reason you want the gloss varnish is because when you're applying transfers, you want it to be a completely smooth surface or at least smooth to touch. And that includes on areas that aren't necessarily completely smooth, if that makes sense, but it'll help the transfers adhere to it. Now, I'm not doing any across particularly knobbly bobbly parts apart from the Iron Warriors one. But it's just something to bear in mind. So now we've got the same Iron Warriors logo that we're gonna be putting up there. So just move it a little bit with your brush to make sure that it's definitely loosened. And then I'm going to just get it off the backing paper like that. And there we go. So I'm using a little bit of micro set. A lot of irony in the fact that the micro set is the one that doesn't set it, it softens it. I always remember that it's micro set, micro sole in order because that's how everyone's always called it. I've never heard anyone call it micro sole, micro set, personally. Cool. So that's on there. Let's tackle the Iron Warriors one very quickly. Can I bring that bad boy in here? Now, I'm going to be very heavy with the initial layer of micro set in all these recesses. And what we can do afterwards is we can actually cut away at the transfer. So whatever doesn't sort of fit, we'll be able to, let's see if we can get a better zoom on this as well. There we go. 
go. So we're really going, really going. I don't want to use the term deep. Let's move this so I know that that one. Obviously, the bigger the transfer, the harder it is to come off. But this one came off straight away when I tested it, so I'm really happy with that. So let's see. Let's get this, and we are going to move it off onto there now. Already it is softening, which is good. But the problem can sometimes be is the moving around of the transfers. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I say this one is a complete, complete guess. Now you can use a secondary brush to help guide if you wish. You can use your fingers. It is all completely down to you. And sometimes it can be extremely frustrating trying to get your transfers to move around. And get them in the place that you want them to and then sometimes you'll get them in the place that you want them to be and then they'll move again cool right. so let's see if this works see right, let's put that down there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my set over the top of this and see how it does This is probably, because it will take a long time to do, this is probably one of those ones where you can see me start it, but we probably won't be able to do the whole thing, otherwise this video will be like seven hours long. But, that's where I'm starting with it. I'm going to try and just curve that bottom bit round. I say this could, has all gone wrong. <laughs> so, the transfer has in fact started to break. So, there you go. That doesn't always go to plan. Da, da, da. It is possible to still do it. However, I don't think it's possible to do it on this particular section. Let's see if I can do it on this top section. And I probably should try and cut it a little bit. But sometimes you just feel a little bit dangerous. Actually, let's put it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it so that the corners are all... in the corners basically this is why people paint chevrons <laughs> it's not gonna work so there you go kids <laughs> i've mucked it up but let's put the other transfers on so to show off that accent colour we were talking about and how yellow really helps the Iron Warriors pop, hence the chevrons. I've picked this particular logo and I'm, because I'm a transfer down, I might add another one in production. But yeah, I say this, this number has no relevance to what I'm doing. Uh, it's definitely not the Legion number, but it could be the company number or something along those lines. I'm gonna leave that. So, we've done the White Scars one. Let's do the Imperial Fists one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up these two so that it's not a 50 minute video. So that little part there, uh, I was just showing you, it was an accident. I put the star on the wrong way. But I was just showing you how easy it is with Microset and Microsoft to turn the transfers and how it's not so daunting that if you don't get it right when you first put it on, you can fix it. Depending on the transfers you're using, sometimes they aren't so robust, but it is possible. So there we are, we've done the four that we said we were going to do. Three went swimmingly well, one didn't go to plan, which is okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna do the rest of the transfers and then we're gonna come back. So we're back. We have done all of the transfers on all of these tanks. Now, as you can see by adding these additional transfers, it is certainly adding color to these palettes that we've already done, which is great because we didn't want it to be very one dimensional. Well, I guess it's 3D anyway, but 
we didn't want it to be a case of that there was just only a couple of colors on there and by using the particular transfers that we've used we're able to sort of put in some accent colors on there as well now don't worry these look uh, garish in certain places especially that one that one keeps jumping out at me uh, but what we're going to do is after these are all done the weathering will tone all of those down so the next process is basically a case of letting it dry or at least some of the bits drying out because on some of them I went a little bit too heavy with the micro the micro set like this angel wings here on this dark angel black black one and what you want to do is almost use your brush and just pick up any of the excess and just sort of pat it now the instructions on the micro set do say to pat it with a paper towel I'm not that confident in it <laughs> to pat it with a paper towel so all I'm doing is I'm using my brush cleaning it off drying it off and then just sort of trying to pick up any of the excess micro set now because there's not a lot of these that need to sort of go in any grooves or crevices or anything we don't need to do this too much but it does help soften up the edges so if you've got somewhere you're looking at them and you can see the edges of the transfers a lot use a little bit more micro set to sort of soften those edges up and then basically once all of those are dry we're going to go over them with the micro salt okay so it's time to add micro salt now, the only thing we need to do here is a make sure that all of these have dried from the micro set once we've done that we can start applying the micro sole and the micro sole is what hardens the transfers and hopefully gets rid of any lines that we have on there now because of the glare of the light let's see if i can turn this down a little bit there you go i have to turn it fully off but you can see some of the transfers on there um once we've done the micro sole we're going to do a coat of gloss varnish over the top I will probably do the airbrush for this because it only needs to be a quick pass just to seal in the transfers that we've done. So let's do the micro sole and let's put some music on. Okay, so it was that simple to add the micro sole on there. Uh, we're going to wait for it to dry now with the micro sole i like to give it a couple of coats until i'm happy with how it looks visually um, this is a personal preference of mine it doesn't say anything about it it's more that i've found that sometimes after a few coats of micro sole it really helps blend the transfers in to the painted item okay so here we are we are finished with the transfers section of this project to finish this off all i've done is i've given a little gloss varnish over the top of these using the airbrush I don't need to go over it with something industrial so I've just gone over it just to seal the transfers in on the next video we are going to be talking about weathering which is my favorite part and it's the part I'm most excited about and hopefully that will be wrapping this project up if you've liked this series please leave a comment down below and let me know which piece is your favorite don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little thumb icon and I'll see you guys next time for some weathering